Hello. Wanted to give a first impressions video in this Bobolette RH Pref bag. Um, I assume that stands for right hand preferred, but I don't, that doesn't make any sense to me. But it's a bag by Bobolette. I might be pronouncing that wrong. To be honest, I believe. According to their website, it's listed under Pickleball and Padel. Um, but when you search for the Pickleball one, all the descriptions and things have Paddle or Padel in it. Um, but I discovered this bag because Pickleball Central had it listed as a Pickleball bag. And so I started looking into it. But... I didn't see any videos on the internet or any pictures for this bag, but I believe it's relatively new. Um, so that's the purpose of this video is to give people a little more idea about what this thing has to offer. Um, so I'll start with the main compartment. One thing that's weird about it is it hinges right here. It doesn't that part doesn't open all the way. Now you could lay it down, but I mean, as it stands, it, it's even with this up, man, not even zipped. It's, I guess the way that I have it loaded, it's balanced really well and doesn't want to roll over. But I assume you people would also use it like this, laying down and even the balls might roll out like that eventually, but they're staying pretty well in place. Um, but as far as this main compartment goes, it's actually pretty customizable and it doesn't really describe that too much on their website page. But you can see here, this is gonna make a big old mess, but I'll show it to you all. Um, so it comes with this divider that you can see right there, which I put it in the wrong way. And it's got Velcro on each side of it. And then you can see it's got a Velcro strip here, here, and then here. And then also this blue one and one down here for the other side. And then you can adjust that panel to however you see fit within that body. So you could even put it diagonally. I had it straight in the middle. Or you could divide it into thirds or quarter and 75%. Um, so you got a lot of options there. Or you could just leave it out completely and have this big old space. Um, I only had two paddles in there. Um, I did have four in there, but until I get some covers for my paddles, I don't think I want four in there as it got a little tight with the balls and everything else packed into this. Um, so that's the main compartment. I didn't know what these little loops were for on the lid. So I just went with the old roll up your clothing for packing. And it works pretty well, even for shutting. The clothing doesn't, well, now that it's kind of empty, it's kind of difficult to close it. But when it was packed, it was easy to close with the clothing hanging over a little bit. Um, but it kind of fills that upper void without your clothing laying down in there. There might be a better reason for those hoops. I don't know it. Um, over here in the side, I figured that this is the shoe bag or the shoe compartment since it's got a breathe hole, which that's something they didn't point out on their website, but it comes through here. Um, so for stinky shoes, which I've got the bobblehead shoes, I play a lot of pickleball and those have held up really well. They're not without issues, but 
they've held up for my weight and everything. And then you got a bag, or I mean a little pocket here, and I just, I'll put whatever I don't care to be kind of stinky in that little compartment. Um, and then on this side, it's almost a mirror, or an exact same compartment, except it's got another pocket and no vent hole. And so I've got little bitty, little bitty towels uh, for sweat in there and then headbands and armbands in that and then overgrip in that little compartment and then you got a little you got a little pocket up here that i've got some energy bars electrolyte mix um i got a sharpie up here for ball marking um the pack also comes with this little bag and I'm not sure what I'll use this for I guess you could possibly put balls and have them more readily available near you while you're playing um, but honestly I'll probably just if I needed to change out of sweaty clothes I might put my sweaty clothes in there um, instead of just leaving them all over the bag um, everything in here <laughs> or at least the outside compartments. It's definitely waterproof, the material, um, and on the outside is, uh, you can feel there's some insulation. There's, this is thicker than this right here. So they've got a little bit of insulation in there, which is important to me. I work a swing shift, and so often I'll have my paddles or whatever in the car, either in extreme heat or extreme cold. Um, and so a thermal bag was important to me to try to protect the paddles. Um, and then on the back here, you got a little pocket up here. This is probably where, where I'd keep my phone, keys, um, and wallet when I go to play would be up here. It's got a fence hook and a little decal showing how to use it or telling what it's for. The little bit that I've had it on my back, I haven't actually taken this. I actually just got it in the mail and packed it up and did this video. Um, so I don't have any on use experience yet. Uh, but the little bit that I wore it this did not bother me and you could take it off even if it did um this is a good little handle right here and then if you've got hooks it's actually got a little bitty um piece of fabric to hang on a hook if you've got that um the straps have pretty good padding and then they also have these thin spots, I assume, so you could hold it like a duffel bag and it wouldn't be too thick for your hand to wrap around it. Um, if I was to have anything to complain about it, when you go to zip it up, and it may not do it, and I'm only doing this one-handed, it's got like an interlocking channel here you can kind of see it right here between my thumb and forefinger and then it also has the same channel on this other side right here and so that can kind of fight you a little bit i think my guess is they designed it this way so it'll be a little bit waterproof that's a complete guess like i said i'm doing this one-handed so it's So that can kind of fight you. And then I've also noticed when you go to unzip it, see it didn't do it just then, but often when you're unzipping it right around here, it can kind of get hung up. And it might be because I don't have it packed right now that it didn't hang up, but something to, something to watch for if you do decide to pull the trigger on this bag. And maybe some zipper. Um, I think some people rub chapstick on their zippers to help them stay 
flexible or loose. Um, now it's not staying upright. Oh, there it is. So anyways, that's, the, that's my little first impression video on this bag. Um, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And I might do a little more in-depth review after I've used it for a month or so. Have a good day. Bye-bye.